to laughter when, I, when the book title, the They Shoot Managers, came up. That was my first book. I, I was at Denny's uh, going over galley proofs. It was the first time I'd had a chance to look at the final copy. And I was at Denny's because my wife is a dietitian. Um, <laughs> And, and, and this is why I travel. So I, I am, uh, no, that's not true. I, and I work out and I do all those things to make up for what I eat at Denny. No, and I, and I was going through the galley proofs and, and the waitress came up and she said, uh, what are you doing? And I said, my first book and I'm looking over the final galley proof before we uh, publish it. And, and she said, wow, it's got to be exciting. And I said, as it is. She said, what's the title? I said, well, I'll try it out on you. They shoot managers, don't they? And she looked at me and she said, I like it. <laughs> Not more than 10 minutes later, in front of all of the patrons, her uh, boss came out and started yelling at her for something she'd done in the back. And, and everybody just looked away. It was an uncomfortable moment. We were all kind of looking at our food. And as soon as he left, she immediately came over to my table and she picked up my book and she said, Is it a how to book? <laughs> And I said, not that kind, you know. <laughs> one of the things, and I want to be honest about it, because I think it's one of the challenges you face. How many agree change brings with it a certain amount of conflict and, and frustration? Because not all changes are appreciated. Uh, at the same time, some uh, changes are, are really applauded, but not necessarily throughout an organization. And you are the one that manages change and the conflict that goes with that. We, we talked earlier, how, how many of you have some people who really don't like any change whatsoever? They didn't come to ANOVA for change. They came for stability. A proven organization that had a tradition and a, and a track record and it's a place I could work until I died. They probably get a deal for that, just like the healthcare, you know, exercise. And, and then you have other people who love change. How many of you can think of people they just eat it for lunch? In fact, if there are no changes, they start rumors just to see if they can make it happen. <laughs> you need both of those people. You need people who will try and hold on to the things that are really important and what has made ANOVA what it is. And at the same time, need to be open to anything that's going to make it better. And that means you're going to have a certain amount of conflict. Please get used to that. I embrace it because I figure sometimes I'm wrong. If somebody confronts me, I, I don't mind spending time talking about it because maybe I'll be better, be better tomorrow. My great uncle on the farms of Illinois used to give me wisdom. One of his was, hey, if one person calls your horse's ass, don't worry about it. But if four people do, <laughs> go out and buy a saddle. <laughs> I believe we ought to have a saddle award. What's wrong with this? You know, we didn't have a... And we as leaders, every once in a while, ought to take it because occasionally we're wrong. Some of the things that have been a part of ANOVA will continue to be a part of ANOVA, but we can't have an automatic veto on the things that will allow us to position for the future. I have enjoyed being part of your team for this is the second day. <laughs> the third day was being snowed in. I didn't enjoy that as much. <laughs> uh, but, I, but I will tell you this. Please understand how rare it is that organizations of this size get the amount of information you have received and been challenged to be involved and engaged and informed. Edith Wharton, there are two ways of spreading light to be the candle or the mirror that reflects it. I love the quote. I don't know what it means, but I just really <laughs> like the quote. Here's what it means to me. If you have to be the candle for this change and you have to motivate everybody, it's taxing. And you have to be there. It's like coming back from a program like this and saying, you know, oh, it was great. I'm motivated. I have ownership. And I have my candle. This is my vision mission candle for 2015. And I've put one in each of your desks. And I want you to take out your candle because I want you to light it from mine. And they light their candle. So, do you feel it? Feel the light? <laughs> now you sustain this because I've got other people I've got to motivate. How many of you agree as soon as you leave, what would they do with a candle? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I guess you had to be there. Your job is to not be the light, but to find it and let it be theirs. 
what if you came back from this program and you went up to some of the members of your team, maybe one or two of them, and you said, you know, it really has come home that this is something we're going to have to deal with. And some of the examples that were shared made me think of you. Because the work you have been doing on this team is exactly what they talked about us having to do. And I don't think I've acknowledged enough of the work that you have done to be part of the vision we're trying to create here. And I, the whole time he was telling that story, all I could do was think about you and that I hadn't communicated how much I appreciate the work you're doing on that. Your job is to be the mirror. You know what most of us do? We're so busy. When somebody comes up to talk about their story, we just turn them off. How many of you had times you've been looking at your computer, you've got a lot to do? Hey, hey, hey. Nancy comes in and she says, Terry, I need to talk to you. Sure, go ahead, go ahead. What am I saying to her? Look, I don't have time. I, I know I'm supposed to have an open door, but in spite of the fact that I have a closed mind, continue. <laughs> I enjoy watching verbal diarrhea out of the corner of my eye. Even if you could repeat back what she said, what's the message you've sent? You don't count. Empowerment is killed in moments like that. There is nothing more important to you right now than finding the story of where this vision is being created. And you are the miners that will find it. When you talk to your people and you start seeing evidence of change, your job is to grab it, acknowledge it, share it up through the system so that we can begin to use it to propagate the kind of opt ideas and that energy. Good ideas are contagious. But if we're trying to get them from external sources instead of our own, we're not building our own culture as we move.